are a unique and fun way to get around in coastal towns like Port Aransas. We're talking about golf carts. And yes, while they do offer some summertime advantages, police want everyone to know about the rules that golf cart operators still have to follow. Our Madeline Dart is live tonight in Port Aransas with a look at some of those rules for us, Maddie. Yeah, Joe, so I spoke to Port Aransas police and they want all golf drivers to know that when they're driving on the beach, like on the sand, same rules apply as if you were driving in a car. Big wheels or small, the same laws apply for people in golf carts. I like to remind out of towners that if something's illegal in their hometown, it's probably illegal in Port Aransas also. Port Aransas Police Chief Scott Burrow says he's grateful for all the tourists who visit Port Aransas. He also wants everyone to have fun and stay safe while driving a golf cart. And people also need to realize that the beach is, is a city street and all the traffic laws apply on the beach also. Chief Burrow says they regularly issue citations for driving under the influence, unlicensed or underage drivers. In that case, parents can be held liable. Burroughs recalls the time a preteen was driving her mother around. She wrecked a golf cart and her mother is in a permanent vegetative state. So the unintended consequences is, is that you may put this on your, your children for their entire life. Recently, PAPD had a golf cart accident involving a 13-year-old. The girl taking a turn too fast, then flipping the cart, which broke her dad's arm. And now she has the guilt going forward that she causes maybe potentially lifetime injury to her dad. Ed Wyatt says at his rental, they try to prevent citations and accidents before people get in the cart. We do this constant education program every time we take somebody out to the car. Wyatt says it may sound repetitive, but renting golf carts is their livelihood. People find that they don't need to take their car to the beach because it gets dirty, sandy, and the golf cart is just a lot of fun. They just have to obey the rules. And what Port APD wants you to know is that children cannot uh, ride on the golf cart in a parent seat. And also you cannot operate a golf cart south of Avenue G in Port Aransas onto the highway. For now, reporting live from Mustang Island, Madeline Dart, 3 News. Joe. Maddie, thank